Not sure why the show can't be 20 episodes a season. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and today we've got our spoiler-free review of the fifth episode of the second season of Titans, entitled Deathstroke. But before we get started, make sure you don't miss out on our first giveaway. We're giving away a Blu-ray copy of Spider-Man Far From Home. To get on the giveaway, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. The drawing will be at the end of the month. Wow, what another great episode. I gotta say, the improvement of the show over season one is incredible. Throughout this episode, Deathstroke had the Titans by the jugular. And for me, might be one of the best episodes of the season so far. Considering Aqualad was so great last week, that's saying something. It makes me more than a little ready to get the next episode locked and loaded. Now, I gotta say, throughout this episode, Isaiah Morales has been more than a great Deathstroke. He's phenomenal as a cold-hearted killer, and his level of confidence and intimidation over each scene is palatable. It seems like he's on a mission to prove to the Titans that they should have taken him down all those years ago. One of the most amazing parts of his performance is that it's mostly masks. A lot of actors don't want to wear a mask because it makes it so hard to, well, act. And somehow, he makes this work without being too tropey or campy. There's also a couple of instances in this episode where Deathstroke really gets to show how brutal he is. And several confrontations we've been expecting come both early and late in the episode. Again, no spoilers, but this is one we called, and you're going to go, oh yeah. Now this episode does pick up from the episode 3 cliffhanger where it was pretty clear that we were about to play a game of cat and mouse with Jason Todd being the bait. Now typically, this gets old on TV, but it actually works pretty well in this episode. And you really feel like an actual chase is on. Kern Walters' Jason Todd totally shines again. I mean, this dude is nailing it, and he is really one of my favorite parts of the show. There's a scene where his troll level 1000 skills become quite useful, and it made me laugh out loud because I saw it coming. It's going to be hard for fans and team members not to become a bit endured with his truly smart like Jason Todd. It's going to be sad to see him go. Something else I liked about this episode is that they're not shying away from costumes or mass characters, at least not with the newer characters, and particularly Deathstroke and Dr. Light, who are both unapologetically in costume the whole episode. The pacing and the story in this episode were great, and it really does a good job picking up where the episode 3 cliffhanger let off. It really does seem to me they may go back and forth on flashback episodes. On several occasions in this episode, the team is faced with hard and character-defining decisions, and most surprisingly, the voice of conscience, aka their own Jiminy Cricket, is more than a bit surprising. The action sequences are getting better and better, and as a fan, I find myself more and more attached. The final confrontation and cliffhanger had a nice, natural build throughout the episode. It made you feel like, well, as the Joker would say, it was all part of the plan. Like I said, overall, I thought this was a really great episode. I've rated them all really high, so I don't really know how to put any more improvement on it, so I'm going to give this episode an 8.5 out of 10, only to give the team a little room to improve throughout the season. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like below, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.